Your team takes two weeks to ship a new feature. My team takes two hours. The difference, we built our design system in code and it took us one afternoon. 62% of devs waste time rebuilding designs because of broken handoffs between Figma and code. But what if I told you you could take your entire design system and rebuild it in code in just one afternoon. So why doesn't everyone have a design system in code? Because historically, it's been incredibly time consuming and complex until now. We need to establish our design foundation. I'm going to have Claude build out the full style guide using our Figma component library. Take a look. Here we have our foundations, our colors, our typography, our icons. This is a very mini version that I'm showing. Of course, yours can be way more robust. So we're gonna start a new Claude conversation. A key here is every time you start a new feature, a new part of a project, you should open a new Claude window to chat with. This means that that whole context will be in this one chat. I'm also gonna give you a tip on how to make sure you save all this at the end, so stick around. To create the style guide, we're gonna prompt it. Create the style guide, call it style tokens dot, dot TS. All color variables, typography, spacing, borders. Create a style guide page and then extract those values from the MCP connection. So look, when it's done, we will have this. Um, it is definitely a very entry point version, but you can see that everything is clearly defined here. We have the color palette, icons, some usage recommendations come in, all pulled and extracted from the Figma MCP. So now we have the single source of truth for all of our components and tokens from here on out. Every color, every spacing style, every font, all pulled directly from Figma and codified in TypeScript. Now let's start to build our component library. So I have already started to compile this component library and I'm going to show you how to start it and to build upon it. Here you can see that we have everything defined and how we do it, let me go back to this one. So we have the interactions, the designs, and we have very detailed how everything should function. This is pulled directly from our Figma files and we work with our devs to make sure this is clearly defined for them as well. You can see we do this. We also provide a usage example. Perfect, let's go ahead and build out these KPI cards. I'm going to use a very detailed prompt. Let me show you. Let me walk through what I've done here. I am creating a workflow. This is important because it's going to set up Claude to go through each step of my workflow before throwing and designing something that might not be following the exact guidelines that I'm suggesting. So here's my workflow. Initialize, set up an analysis. So this is basically looking at the Figma file. Analyze and extract the component data. This is really important. It's not gonna build it just from what it sees. It's actually going to pull how every hover state, every interaction works. Follow the visual specifications. Look at the behavioral specifications. Now implement. Then create the interactive component. Build it fully, add the proper TypeScript, include all variants, create a preview, and make sure you are applying the design tokens. Style preview, property preview. Now the component specific feature should be built. Now documentation generation, create a .txt. So every single component can have a .txt with all of these rules and specifications so that every time you're using this component, it is following this exact framework. Now the output structure. Add it to the component page in an additional tab. Again, here's the execution order, go. So I'm gonna run this. See here, this is the task list. This is amazing. I love this about Claude Code because it's going to start work through that list that I gave it and it's going to check off each stage. It's getting the context here. Okay, so it has done every step and it is documenting. It did step one, step two, step three, four. Okay, so let's go take a look and see if it matches. We can go here and head to metric card. So we have this metric card. Here it is, the full design. It matches Figma perfectly. It also has this documentation. So this is for Claude. 
and for the devs and for the designers to understand this is exactly what tokens it's using, how it's being built. So whenever there's a change in anything, we will update this file and this component, which will apply to every place that this component lives in the product. Okay, so now let's build a real feature. We're gonna build a feature using a screen that features this card in it. Let's build this screen. So we're starting to put these components together. This is a component, this is a component, these are components. So I'm going to ask it to start to build the screen and adhere to the components in the platform. Okay, so let's open a new window and we're gonna paste the prompt. Again, this is a very detailed prompt. It's very similar to the one you just saw. I'm asking it to follow the specific workflow to make sure that it is starting to build the screen adhering to the components in the layout of the screen. Initiating, analyzing, generating the screen specifications following the exact Figma. Implementation, create, preview, Follow the design tokens. So this is really important, right? Follow the design tokens, style the preview, content preview. So it has to go through every single one of these items before it actually builds it. Let's see what happens. So again, it's coming up with this to-do list. It reviewed everything I said, the KPI card, everything. Let's see, look, it has completed every section, every task. So in Fieldy, let's go file structure. This is great. Kept this updated, added new pages. Let's go test it out. Okay, so there's some spacing issues going on <laughs> that we need to fix, um, which is fine. We'll get into that. But for a first draft, this being able to clearly define this information, this KPI component overall, good. Let me go in and see if I can clean this up a little bit and let's see if we can get it performing more correctly. That load, so it should be 16 point, right? Okay, let's go see. There we go, fixed, beautiful. Follows the exact figment design you see here. Now we can continue to add components. So you'll see some of these pages have these additional components, which we will build on. Now, last thing, remember I said a little tip about setting up all of your separate chats. I want to make sure that any content that I've done, it's saved. So I want to say save this chat record to project context dot. MD. So now it's going to keep track of this entire project. See, it's putting session three, date, and what happened from this chat. So I suggest doing this with all your chats. And if you want to try this yourself, this is what I recommend. Build your style guide first. Start with one component, build one feature, and use notes.md. If you found this valuable, give it a like and subscribe. I'm creating more content on building faster product teams with AI. Thanks for watching. Now go build something amazing.